today we're doing a yoga flow that's all about binding, bending, and balancing. So we're focusing on yoga binds and poses, forward bends, back bends, and then some arm balances too. For today's practice, you will need a dish towel. Okay, so it's shorter than a regular size towel, right? But this is gonna be helping us um, access poses a little bit easier. So get, go ahead and pause the video and grab a dish towel for yourself before you get started. Once you have your towel, come sit in easy pose. So just cross-legged. We wanna make sure our spines are nice and long. We're going to do a practice called letting go breath. Before we get into this, though, I wanna quickly mention, I've had some students reach out to me saying that when they're trying to practice yoga at home that they get distracted easily, usually by something that they can't control like a pet or a parent or a sibling. And that's totally normal and distractions are a part of life. Um, what we can't control is what goes on around us and our surroundings, but what we can control is how we respond to it. So try to just let it go when that happens take a deep breath and just move forward, right? We don't have to stay stuck or get really frustrated with that. That doesn't help us feel good. So when it happens, just see if you can laugh it off. See if you can just let it go and treat it as just a distraction that you are practicing moving past, okay? So for this letting go breath, make sure that your spine is nice and long and strong. And the reason we're practicing this today is because when we have challenging moments of stress and struggle, it's easy for our bodies to, to hold on to that tension, especially this area, our shoulders, right? Our upper backs and our necks. So this breath just helps us kind of let go of that, where that stress and struggle and anxiety, feelings like that can get kind of trapped. So we're gonna be taking some deep breaths and matching that to movement with our shoulders. So long and strong spine, take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale out of your mouth, sigh it out. Okay, now this time take a slow full breath in through your nose and lift your shoulders up slightly pause for a moment and now exhale and let your shoulders go down just relax okay again inhale lift your shoulders up slightly as you exhale let your shoulders come down and relax keep that going inhale lift exhale let it go on your own Breathing in, letting it out. When you breathe out, I really want you to think about anything that's frustrating or annoying or overwhelming to you and causing those feelings of stress and struggle. Try to really release that when you drop your shoulders down. A couple more. Last one. Nice, and just check in and notice how your mind and your body feel after doing that. Okay, so for our warm up today, we're gonna to do some standing stretches to warm up because the poses that we're doing today, we want a lot of openness through our chest. We want some flexibility in our shoulders. So we'll go ahead and practice that. Please stand up with me. And we're going to start in a mountain pose. I'm gonna show you, um, I have to work with the space that I have here. So I'll kind of show you um, down on my knees, something that we're going to be doing, and then we'll transition it to standing up. So for mountain pose, when I ask you to do a side bend, you're going to, when I say to grab opposite wrist, so take one hand, grab onto the wrist, you're going to lift up to lengthen, and then you're going to exhale and do a side bend. Okay, so you're kind of pulling on that wrist to get a good side stretch. So this is an example of one of the things we're doing today is binding. This is a bind. When one muscle is activating the other muscle. So using this grip helps us really activate that stretch. Okay, so standing up in mountain pose, feel all four corners of each foot pressing into the mat. Your feet are about shoulder distance apart. Breathe in, let it out. Reach your arms up overhead for extended mountain pose. Do what I said, grab them on to opposite wrist. Lift up, breathe in to lengthen. And as you breathe out, side bend. Nice. Okay, let's do the other side. Breathe in to lengthen. Grab opposite wrist now. And then breathe out and side bend. Breathe in to lift up. Now take your elbows and bend them. This is what I call cactus arms, or if you're a fan of football, goalpost arms. And we're gonna use this to do a gentle back bend. So we're opening through our chest. I'll turn to the side so you can see better. 
you want to just have this position with your arm, but then leaning back slightly so you're lifting and then leaning back. Okay, so this is cactus arm. And then after that, we're going to do a, um, a side stretch opening up to the side. So we have go from extended mountain pose to reaching one arm back and looking back at that hand. So your hip should stay facing forward, feet facing forward, just your upper body is twisting and looking back. Breathe in to lift your arms up. Breathe out, twist to the other side now. Breathe in, lift your arms back up. And then forward fold, come all the way down, even come down, bending your knees, crouch and curl into a little ball. So try to drop your head, drop your heels towards the mat, and come into as tight of a ball as you can, sending one deep breath up and down your spine. One more deep breath up and down your spine. Press your feet into the mat, slowly roll up, so straighten your legs first, roll up vertebra by vertebra, and then shoulders up towards your ears, and let them go. Let's do that again one more time, so lift up. Extend in mountain pose, breathe in, grab onto one wrist, and then side bend as you breathe out. Breathe in, grab onto opposite wrist, side bend as you breathe out. Breathe in, lift up, look up, breathe out, cactus your arms, gentle back bend. Breathe in, arms come up, and then twist one arm back, look back at that hand. Breathe in, extend in mountain pose, breathe out, twist to the other side. Lift up, forward fold as you breathe out, crouch and curl into a little tiny ball. Two deep breaths. Press your feet down, slow roll up. And here's where I want you to grab your dish towel. So this is gonna help us again with some expansion in some poses, to kind of deepen a stretch and make the stretches more accessible to us. The first one we're going to do, one of the um, categories of poses we're doing is forward bends. So you can spread your feet out wide here, or if you want to keep more of a narrow uh, fold, you can do that. It's up to you. I'm going to take my feet wide, pressing my feet into the mat first, get a stable ground, roll my shoulders down and back. I want shoulders away from my ears, okay? So you're going to hold on to the dish towel, and then lift your chest up as you pull your hands down, really pulling onto the dish towel. Breathe in, lift your chin up. Breathe out, you want to forward fold, reaching your head down towards the mat, lifting your arms up towards the ceiling. Hang heavy, let your head hang. Breathing in, breathing out. Slight bend in your knees is helpful here if your legs are tight. Let your jaw relax, have a long neck, And then slowly come up. Okay, so that's an example of a forward bend, one of the categories of poses we're doing, doing today. Excuse me. And the next thing we're going to do, still holding on to the towel, come to sit down. And we're going to be doing binding today. And binding is when two muscles are really working against each other to help the other one strengthen. So. For example, if I was doing this gentle tricep stretch, if I just lifted my arm up, bent my elbow, and brought my hand to my back, it's not, I'm, I'm feeling a stretch, but it's not a very deep stretch, it's really gentle. A bind helps you get a little deeper into it because it's going to create some resistance. So I'm going to take the towel to do this. So again, reaching my arm nice and straight, and then bending my elbow so my hand is coming down to my back. Then I'll turn so you can see, but I'm going to be grabbing onto the towel and trying to crawl my fingers closer together till eventually my fingers touch. So you're getting a nice stretch in your tricep here. Okay. If you want, you can do this without the towel. You don't need it. It's just helpful if you, if you aren't ready to get into this pose. Breathing in to sit up nice and tall. Breathing out, just settle into the stretch. And then let that go and let's switch sides. So towel in the other hand, lift your arm up, bend your elbow to send that hand back, 
Take your other hand, wrap it around, trying to hold on to the towel and trying to reach those fingers up to meet. This side's always tighter for me. It's always harder for me to reach my hand. There's always one side that's more challenging. Breathing in, sitting up tall. Breathing out, settle into the stretch. With these types of poses, these binds, you can go ahead and let it go. You want to balance out your effort, so you don't want to be putting in too little effort that you're not getting a good stretch and you're not growing and, and challenging yourself, but you don't want to be putting in too much effort that you're going to injure yourself. Okay, so have that balance between those. Then um, the next two warm-up poses, we're going to practice a gentle back bend and then an arm balance. So for the back bend, I want you to come onto your belly and onto your elbows. So your legs are out long behind you. You're pressing into your elbows and your forearms are pressing into the mat, okay? Hands are nice and wide and flat. This doesn't seem like much. This is called Sphinx Pose, but it really is. It's a back bend, so you are feeling that, that arch in your back. With back bends today, the, um, the tip is to activate not just your back. You don't want to feel that strain in your back. You want to also activate your core muscles, your belly. So pulling your belly button in towards your spine and activate your legs too. Your legs should be active here. They should be strong. So pressing through your elbows, lifting up. You don't want to be crunching your neck. So none of this like looking up high and trying to arch back far. That's not what this is about. So you want to just have length in your neck and length in your spine. Take a deep breath in. Let it out. Come onto your belly. Take a quick nap. Okay. Now put your hands under your shoulders and then press up. You can be on your knees for this. We're gonna do a, this is like a modification of plank pose. So you still wanna have your, your shoulders over your wrists though and your hips down. So no butts in the air. You want your hips nice and, and like neutral, okay? So an arm balance, if you can imagine, is balancing a lot of your body weight on your arms. Uh, a couple tips here, they do, they can really help with increasing your confidence and your self-esteem. However, you need to practice that like you need to believe in yourself and tell yourself you can do it a lot of us get intimidated with these poses but it's about just believing that your body is capable of doing it and that helps you so first believe you can do it and then second we want to protect our wrists in these poses so think of this like L shape between your thumb and your pointer finger try pressing that area of your hand into the mat and that helps take off some of the pressure from your wrist and, and really helps you engage your whole hand into it. Okay, so you're lifting up here. All right, so here's my little challenge to you from this modified plank. I want you to come up into regular plank pose. So tuck your toes under and then straighten out your legs. Hands are over your wrists. I'm sorry, that is not true. Shoulders are over your wrists. <laughs> All right, then come down into a low plank. So you're on your elbows now. We're gonna do a um, dolphin plank, which is another arm balance. Walk your toes in, and in this pose, you do send your hips up high. So toes come in, press through your elbows down, your forearms and your elbows, not just your hands. Breathe in, breathe out. Never hold your breath in yoga, it doesn't do you any good. Keep breathing. Good, walk your feet out. You can take a quick rest if you need to. Press your hands again underneath your shoulders and then sit back for a quick child's pose. Okay, that was just our warm up. I hope you're ready. So we're gonna move into those four categories of poses. If right now you would like to have some background music on, I didn't put any on with the video, so this is a good time if you want to put in your own background music, go for it, okay? So come to the front of your mat, we're going to get into some of the warrior poses. So these are standing poses, but we're going to modify some of them to include those forward bends and binds, okay? All right, settling in, top of your mat, feet pressing in, breathing in. Lift your arms up as you breathe out, forward fold, and step one foot back. So I'm gonna step my right foot back, okay? And then spin your back heel down. So now your whole foot is, is on the mat. And it's, your foot's kind of at a diagonal. Your knee should be right stacked over your ankle. 
Lift your arms up so you're facing your front knee. Breathing in to get tall, breathing out to settle into the pose. Okay, this is where I want you to grab your dish towel. We're gonna add a forward bend into our warrior. This is called humble warrior. So take your hand on the towel. Remember that we wanna use this to really um, open up for our chest, okay? So push those hands down, nice strong arms. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. Breathe out, fold, lift your arms up, drop your head in the inside of your knee. Take a deep breath in and let it out. Nice, slowly come up, do a quick warrior two, and then keep your legs where they are, do a reverse warrior. So your back hand comes down to your back leg, front hand lifts up. Nice, and then as you breathe out, we're gonna come forward into extended side angle pose. Bring your forearm to the top of your leg. So not on your knee, we don't wanna put any pressure on our knee, but on like about the middle of our leg. So this is side angle pose. You can lift the top arm up, okay? So you should feel that strong foundation in your feet and your legs. We're gonna add a bind here. So this is just a half bind. You're gonna take this top hand that's lifting up right now. First, you wanna open up as much as you can, right? You wanna imagine like this wall behind me that I could lean onto it and that my back would be flat. Now taking that top hand, I'm gonna wrap it down and around. I'm gonna to try to grab onto, can you see my fingers here? Grab onto my leg or my shirt or my hip, wherever I can grab onto. I'm just creating that bind, so the extra resistance to try to help me open up in this pose. Breathe in, breathe out. Let that bind go, stretch that hand up, bring your hands both down to the mat now. Turn now, so I'm gonna turn to face sideways, or for you it's facing forward, so I'm stretching now. It's called a little ninja stretch. My leg that was back is now straight and really uh, getting a nice stretch. My other knee is bent here, my hands are down on the mat. Breathe in. As you breathe out, I want you to Crawl over to the other side, bending the opposite knee, straightening that leg. That's a fun little transition. And then come over to the front of your mat. We're gonna do warrior one on this side. See how we're already set up on this side? So now pressing your front foot into the mat, back foot is now flat at a diagonal, and then lift your arms up for warrior one. Breathing in to lengthen, breathing out, settling into the pose. Grab your towel if you don't have it. And we're gonna go into humble warrior. So holding onto that towel, pressing our hands down, rolling our shoulders down and back. Breathing in, lift up. Breathing out, bend forward. Forward bend, lift those arms up. Drop your head, drop your thoughts. All right, let that towel go, let your hands go, lift up into a quick warrior two. As you breathe in, we're gonna come into a reverse warrior. And as you breathe out, side angle pose. So forearm to leg, lift the other arm up high. Back leg is still straight. Front knee, check to make sure it's over your ankle. You wanna keep good form. And now, trying again to open up as much as you can. So we don't wanna be like hunching forward. It's about lifting and opening and then take that hand that's up high and bring it back behind you. And maybe your hand just stays like back behind you like this and that's all your body can do today. Don't strain, try, but don't strain. Don't hurt yourself. Or you can see if you can get those fingertips to come onto the inside of your leg. That looks kind of weird. <laughs> breathing in, breathing out. Okay, drop that hand back down, and then do that little ninja stretch again. So now, turning to face forward. All those snap, crackles, and pops, those are really good for you. Leg is straight, and then crawl on over to the other side. So we're just getting a stretch in both legs. Okay, now bring your feet together. We're gonna do Another bind here in this low squat, and then it's gonna help us prep for another arm balance pose. So in your low squat, you want your feet kind of slightly turned out. 
heels in, toes turned out, knees bent. You're sitting low, but you're not hunching over. You want to have tall spines. I like to put my hands together in like prayer position. Elbows pressing against the knees to lift up and lengthen. Okay. Now for this bind, it's probably helpful to have a towel here, but I'll show you without the towel too. You take one hand and put it down onto the mat. So it's like now in front of my foot and a little bit out to the side. Then I'm going to lift the other arm up and try to bring that arm down around my back. I'm trying to take this hand, lift it around my knee, and now I'm holding on to my hands. I'm going to turn around so you can see. This is a nice little waddling I have to do to do that. So again, you want to be lifting up and lengthening tall spine. Towel is really helpful too. So I'm creating this bind around my knee. So I'm using those muscles to engage in a different way. If I just had my hand down here, I wouldn't have much muscle engagement. So really using the bind to open and twist. Lots of binds are also twisting poses, which is cool. One more breath. Let it out. Nice. And then try the other side. So reset your spine, sit up nice and tall. And then other hand comes down. Reach the other arm back and around. So I'm trying to hold on like Get over to the outside of his knee and then reach that front arm back and around trying to clasp fingertips as much as I can or using my towel to help me with that. So again, my arm is just wrapped around the front of my knee and the back arm is wrapping around my back to try to clasp fingers. Trying to sit up tall. Now let's do a quick little forward bend just to let our give our legs a quick break. So straighten out your legs, maybe shake them out, bending one knee and then the other. Let your head drop, shake your head, no. Shake your head, yes. And then come down to the mat. We're going to do crow pose. It's an arm balancing pose. So now that we've warmed up our hips in that squat, now we're ready for it. If you've never done crow pose, today's your day. Um, that's, you have to sometimes fake it to make it, right? You have to have confidence in yourself and move forward with that. Try to project that and that will help you in whatever you're doing, whether it's a yoga pose or not. So for crow pose, same um, activation in your hands like an arm balance, wide flat fingers. We're going to come back into that squat position except this time we're kind of, our feet are closer together. My feet are touching, they're that close together and knees are out wide, okay? So get your, your balance here, and then hands are nice and wide coming down to the mat in front of you. In an arm balance, it's really helpful to keep your eyes gazing forward, and it's helpful to engage, again, your core, your legs, so you're not just using your hands, right? Engage your whole body, and focus on pressing the whole hand into the mat, especially that L shape that helps protect the wrist. So you want to lift up and then glue, Think, imagine gluing the knees to the backs of the arms, the top, so kind of like up towards your armpit. So get on up there, glue those knees in, you're going to bend your elbows back a lot, you're going to create kind of shelves for your knees to rest on. Pressing into the hands, lifting up through my core, leaning forward, and then maybe lifting up one foot. Gaze is forward on one spot to help me balance. Maybe you lift up both feet. Press the hands down flat. Lift through your core. Three, two, one. If we fall, that's okay. We get back up. You have one more chance to try it. But first, shake out your wrists. Roll them in circles. Create that confidence. All right. Again, hands wide and flat. Press them down. Knees glue to the back of your arm, lift up, pull in through your core, bend your elbows back, lean forward, look forward, lift your toes up. Maybe just one toe comes off the mat today and that's awesome. You should be so proud of your effort. And then when you're done, have a seat. Nice job. Okay, come to stand up. We're gonna do a few, uh, we're gonna do a quick stretch. We're gonna do 
Let's see, another um, a back bend before we come and do some floor stretches. So we just put a lot on our wrists. We're gonna do a stretch called Gorilla Stretch. It's a forward fold and it's really good for our hands and wrists. So you're gonna actually take your hands and slide them under your feet, which sounds weird. I hope your feet are clean. So lean forward to a forward fold, right? So we still wanna have a nice long spine and neck. Hands are gonna come down to the mat. You can bend your knees a lot to be able to get into this pose. Slide your hands up under your feet. So you want your feet, let me scoot back a little so you can see. You want your foot kind of um, up against the inside of your wrist. So that's how you're stomping on your hand, which I know sounds really weird. But the idea of this is that you're kind of squashing all the blood and fluid and you should feel your hands kind of popping a little bit. That's good. They just had a lot of work done on those wrists. So you want to balance that out. You want to give them a little, just give them like a little massage. Kind of shift from side to side. All right. Slowly come out of that, shake your hands out, come onto your knees. So this is the back bend that we're doing before we go into some, uh, a couple more standing poses and then some stretches. This back bend is called camel, but we're just gonna do half camel today. So for a camel pose, it's a back bend, but in a back bend, remember, we're not, it's not just about how much can I arch and throw my head back. It's a lift and a lengthen and then a gentle bend backwards. So we're starting in this hero's pose, so our knees are bent, toes tucked under, and then come to stand on your knees. Right? So we're on our knees here with toes tucked under. That kind of helps just keep our balance. I want you to take your hands and put them in your imaginary back pocket. So elbows are bending back, shoulders are rolling open. Okay. You want to lift up and lengthen. You're going to press your hips forward and gently lean back and look up without really like pinking our neck. Just a gentle lean and look up. So this is like the beginner version of camel pose. If you're ready to take another step further, you can take one hand down and bring it to the heel of your foot on the same side. So I'm bringing my right hand now to my right heel and then I can lift my other arm up. So I'm still keeping that nice length in my spine and my neck but I'm just bending backwards and deepening that back bend by holding onto my foot. Breathe in to lengthen. Breathe out to settle in. Not forcing, not pushing. On your next breath in, come all the way up. Settle back in as you breathe out. And then opposite hand now comes down. If you were doing that on the other side, bring the opposite hand down. So left hand now is on my left heel. Reaching my right arm up, looking up, breathing in, breathing out. One more deep breath. Slowly coming up and then have a seat in hero's pose. Just take a moment to pause. Notice how your body's feeling. Notice if your mind is present and here and focused. If it's wandering, I encourage you to notice that and then try to bring it back to your breath and your body. Come on up to standing. Now we're going to do another bind here, but first I want you to just take your hands to your hips, press one foot into the mat, and then lift the other leg out straight in front of you. Now you can feel the activation here, so notice right now in your body where you feel it. I feel it at the top of my leg, my thigh, right? Now we're going to add a bind and see how that changes the muscular activation, okay? Take your peace fingers and wrap them around your big toe, okay? And then sit, or standing up, I was gonna say sitting, standing up nice and tall. Try to let go of that bend in your knee and straighten your leg. Okay, you can try taking it out to the side. If you need to have a big bend in your knee, that's okay. It's wherever your flexibility is today is great. So you're trying to to get that stretch and straighten your leg. You're just working towards that. It's okay if you're not there yet. Okay, set that foot down. 
Now, same leg is going to go into a standing back bend now. Look at that. So we're going to take that same leg that was just stretched out, bend that knee, and hold on to the inside arch of your foot. We're coming into dancer pose, a standing back bend pose. So you're going to lift your other, other arm forward or even up. You're going to lift and lengthen. Your knees are glued together right now. And then when you're ready, you're going to lean forward, sending your knee back. So you're pressing your foot into your hand. You're trying to arch your back. Stand, uh, stare at one spot on the floor to help you focus and balance. Focus on your breath. Holding your breath makes you fall down. So focus on your breath. Keep your balance. Now straighten this back leg. You're going to bring your hands down to the mat for a forward fold. This is called um, half split. So standing half split. You want to try to straighten that back leg and let your head hang heavy. shake it out. You just worked so many muscles. Air five, good for you. Now standing up tall again, we're going to do all that on the other side. So start with that leg activation. Lift up one, the other leg now. Mine's my left leg. So I can notice what's activated right now and see if that changes when I use the bind. So taking my peace fingers, wrapping them around my big toe, and trying to straighten out my leg. I can take my leg out to the side if that feels good. I'm trying to stand up tall, straightening out as much as I can. Breathing, don't forget to breathe, that's important. If you fall, it's okay, get right back up. Letting go of the bind, but notice like the different activation now. I feel it here in my leg, I feel here in my leg. The bind creates so much more of an activation, it's so cool. All right, so now I'm gonna let that leg go. I'm turning to the side so you can see, but you don't have to turn. Bend that knee that I like that was just straightened out. Now bend it. Take your arm, really roll your shoulder open first, then hold on to the inner arch of your foot. Other arm comes forward. Lift up and lengthen, opening up through your chest. Then lean, staring at one spot, gentle back bend, so long neck. Feel your spine stretching and lengthening. Breathing in, breathing out. Bring your hands down, straighten that leg back for standing half split. This is a forward fold. That's a really good stretch for our standing leg now. Let your head hang heavy for three, two, one. Drop that leg. Come on down, have a seat. Come all the way down onto your back, actually. We're gonna do a bridge pose. It's another little back bend. More gentle, though. So lay all the way down. Bending your knees, putting your feet flat on the mat. Roll your shoulders down and back. And then lift your hips up. So it's a really gentle back bend. You're using all the activation from your legs. You can pull your core in here. And if you want to, you can try to interlace your hands together underneath your back to open up your chest and your shoulders more. Breathing in, breathing out. Slowly come down, put your feet together, knees out for butterfly pose. One hand on your heart, one hand on your belly. Deep breath in, let it out. Slowly come up. And we're going to do some seated forward folds now. So let's start with a seated tree pose. So I'm going to just turn to the side so you can see. You're going to bring the sole of one foot and press it onto the inner thigh of your other leg. So you're going to stretch that leg out long in front of you while this knee is bent. Turn your hips, turn your upper body to face that long leg. Lift your arms up as you breathe in. As you breathe out, fold over that long leg. Now in a forward bend, it's not about can your nose touch your knee. You are reaching towards your knee, but you, it's more important to have length in your spine than to be hunching over trying to get your nose to your knee. So first find length and then lean forward, lean into it. 
And there's, it's no good to like struggle into this pose to get your body where it's not ready for. Don't do that. So let go of what you think it should look like and just feel what's good in your body. Breathing into the stretch, settling in. Slowly come up. Let's do the other side. Other foot now is coming into the inner thigh. You're gonna stretch the other leg out long. Turn your upper body to face towards that long leg. Lift up as you breathe in. Lean forward as you breathe out. If you can't reach your foot, that's okay. I would actually prefer you to have your hands down on the mat. Lift your spine up and then lean forward that way. Try flexing that, that long leg, the foot, I should say, of the long leg. You can try pointing it too, see how that feels. Okay, last stretch before we take a little rest. Both legs out long together now. Last um, forward bend. So we're lifting our arms up as we breathe in, really straight, long and strong here. As you breathe out, lean forward, keeping your spine nice and long, keeping your neck long. Feel the stretch, notice where you feel it. Really pay attention right now, what parts of my body are being used, are being activated, are being strengthened? Breathe into the pose and then slowly roll down all the way to your mat for your final rest pose. Let's take one minute, one mindful minute to just totally relax. Turn off all your thoughts, which is by the way, impossible to stop thinking. You don't wanna stop thinking, but right now we don't need any thoughts. We don't need to be thinking about anything. We just need to let our minds and our bodies totally rest. So let your feet just kind of flop out. Let your hands be open, your palms open to the ceiling. And just let your arms relax. Let the muscles in your face relax. Let your jaw relax. Let your belly soften. No need to control the breath. Just see if you can notice it for the next minute. Start to wink, wiggle your fingers and toes, maybe rolling your wrists and ankles in circles. Stretch your arms up over your head. Slowly roll to one side. And when you're ready, press yourself up to a seated pose. Awesome job today, guys.